in the eyes of Matt Ryan, who didn't practice yesterday in just a couple of seconds. In the meantime, the Ox joins us right now. He is Jared Oxendine, the founder and managing partner at Oxendine Law. Checks in with us, the Ox does, at least once a month. He joins us on the Loud Security Systems Newsmaker line. He's the expert for all divorce and family law matters. Check him out at oxlawfirm.com or give him a call at 770-497-8688. Jared, how are you doing this morning? Gentlemen, good morning. Doing great. Thanks for having me on. Um, anytime. The pleasure is all ours. Now, we talk about... From time to time on the program, these reality shows, Love After Lockup, 90 Day Fiance, Love is Blind, they're all trending right now, but there's some seriousness to this as well. Should these people actually get married and what happens afterwards? Yeah, it really is. And, you know, marriage is a big deal, and it can have some uh, some big impacts. Uh, they can be great consequences if the marriage works out, but they can be severe consequences if the marriage doesn't work out. So it's very troubling. you got a lot of people these days that are rushing into their marriage and they're not taking the time to get to know their spouse before they actually pull the trigger. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people getting the divorce and they tell me, look, I had no idea that when I got married that my spouse had $100,000 worth of credit card debt. And then we got married and she couldn't pay her credit card bill and I had to start paying it. So, you know, check these people out. You know, find out the ins and outs. Find out about their finances. Make sure you get to know the person you're going to marry before you tie the knot. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad my wife didn't do a background check on me. I probably wouldn't be married. So. <laughs> yeah, she came to me. You know what I did? I didn't answer my phone for seven days in a row. I said, I'm not talking to her. I'm not going to be the one. Hey, real quick, I think the other thing is, I think people just think, like, the marriage certificate is just a piece of paper that you can rip up and just go, ah, whatever. The problem is there are other factors. It's Yes, it's pretty pretty easy to get a divorce if you actually both decided we're going to do this the same sensible let's not blow money way but it's not just ripping up the piece of paper there are other things that that are problematic is what you're talking about especially when it comes to things like debt and then who owes whom what when all is said and done that's right i mean you know how nice would it be for some folks if all you had to do to get divorced is just rip up your marriage certificate unfortunately it doesn't work that way you've got to deal with dividing the assets and dividing the debt there may be alimony issues children child support, parenting time. So it's, it's much more complicated than that, which is why you really need to think about it and be careful before you pull the trigger. And if you're bringing significant assets into the marriage, you may very well want to strongly consider a prenuptial agreement before you tie the knot. Now, I wish this would have happened to me. This Cardi B and her WAP, she says as she's getting divorced, she doesn't want support from her now estranged husband offset. How often does this happen? You know, that's actually a very good topic, and it comes up frequently, more often than you would think. So what likely is happening there is that Cardi B is concerned about maybe Offset having some type of leg up on her regarding custody. And I've seen it many times where one party says, you know what, to the other party, if you will just give me custody and not fight me on custody, let me have the children, I'll throw you a bone and I won't make you pay any child support. And so that very much may be what's going on in this circumstance also, with high-income earners, sometimes they don't care about the child support. They just want to secure the children, and they'll give the other party a break because the child support is just pennies to them, and they're not relying on the child support to pay the bills for themselves and the kids. So they will, you know, say, hey, give me the kids. I'll throw you a bone. No child support. You know, this is funny stuff, Jared Oxendine. I mean, not ha-ha funny because how do, you, how do you broach this conversation? Let's say you're in love with somebody. They're in love with you. How do you broach the conversation of a prenup? or a background check? I mean, how does this naturally come up in a conversation? Well, it, it is awkward. Um, it's much more awkward and difficult to get it done after you've tied the knot, but it's awkward. But here's what I tell people. If, if the marriage is meant to be and you truly are in love and you're looking out for each other's best interest, then you're not going to be concerned about showing your cards and showing your finances and opening up the history and making sure that your partner knows everything about your past. And if you're a person that's bringing in a lot of assets to the marriage, if you're marrying a reasonable person and they say, hey, I'm not going to sign a prenuptial agreement, what you're bringing to the marriage, I should have some of that too, well, then you know that person's not reasonable and you know you may be headed for divorce. So, you know, when you really boil it down and look at it from a practical standpoint, it actually is quite reasonable to make those requests under certain circumstances. Hey, Jared, how do people actually not only get a hold of you but actually have that first conversation, speaking of awkward? Uh, I don't necessarily want the other side to know that I've contacted an attorney. There is privilege, obviously, but there's also a way that the right law firm can handle that, correct? Sure, yeah. Every every time I meet with a client, it is attorney-client protected and it's privileged. So you call my office, you can either call off the phone, you can actually go to our website and send a discreet contact form, which goes to our secure email address, 
and we will schedule a, 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 uh, a consultation with you. And you'll come in and sit down across from the table from me, tell me everything you need me to know. I'll give you a complete overview of what to expect and what your outcome likely is. I'll give you some pointers on how I think you need to move forward. And all that will be confidential. Nobody in the entire world will know that you've had that meeting with me unless you tell them. And there he is, the Ox, Jared Oxendine. That first visit is free. Any questions, oxlawfirm.com or call Jared Oxendine. He's the founder and managing partner at Oxendine Law at 770-497-8688. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, guys. Enjoyed it. Take care. Jared Oxendine with us on the uh, Loud Security Systems Newsmaker Live. And in case you're wondering, and I am, and I, I did ask, uh, I'm getting a thumbs up. That is an actual, according to the Internet, that is an ox. That's not a facsimile. That's not something that we just... That's not a, I don't know, what, what would be the... It sounds closest? like a party favor almost. But it's an actual ox. Right? Hey. It does kind That's of sound like... That's not just a run-of-the-mill cow, right? <laughs> no, but it does kind of sound like somebody celebrating New Year's. What's the difference between a cow and an ox? I don't know. Yeah. I know cows can give milk. I don't think... Can oxes? I don't know. I don't know the difference. Are there horns involved? They, can, uh, they pull wagons and such, like an Oregon Trail. I'd be willing to bet that Matt Ryan knows the difference between Jake Matthews and Matt Gano. Matt Gano... 